They had never heard of Billboard or charts, but they knew the next stop was Nashville. In August of 1960, Loretta and Doolittle dropped the kids off in Indiana with family and headed for Music City. Wearing a 99-cent Salvation Army dress, the tenacious young singer descended on Music Row and began hawking a record to anyone who would listen. I mean, there wasn't a door at 8 o'clock in the morning that I didn't. was well, sitting on the steps of the publishing companies. I think that they just went moment by moment. You know, all of a sudden they made this little record. They got in this old car and drove to Tennessee to get on the Grand Ole Opry. That was the only thing that they saw. They had no plan. They had no money. The good fortune and timing that began in Washington would continue when Loretta Lynn knocked on the door of Surefire Publishing. It was owned by the Wilburn Brothers, a successful country music act who were well connected in the Nashville entertainment industry. Doyle and Teddy Wilburn were immediately charmed. I went in and said, I'm nowhere to lend. I've got this little record out here. And I'd like for you to listen to it. I think what Teddy and Doyle saw in this woman was, uh, first of all, her talent, her sincerity, uh, the fact that she was believable. She was real. She captured the heart, so to speak. And uh, they, the first thing Doyle said was, Margie, we have met a female Hank Williams. She was so naive that it was beautiful. The Wilburns' first order of business was to get their new artist an appearance in the prestigious Grand Ole Opry. Doyle took Loretta to meet Ott Devine, the Opry manager. Devine was instantly taken with the delightfully unrefined newcomer. On October 15, 1960, just three months after she had arrived in Nashville, Loretta Lynn made her first appearance on the Grand Ole Opry. She was an immediate hit. It put me on the Opry for 21 weekends in a row. And, um... He said, well, today you're a Grand Ole Opry member. I jumped about that high off the floor, and they got that on a picture. Playing the Opry and touring with the Wilburn Brothers show was earning Loretta a high profile in Music City. The next step for the Wilburns was to get Loretta signed to their record label, Decca Records. The man at the helm of Decca was Owen Bradley, the hottest producer in country music. 